Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 amazing all new 2024 motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke GT's existence has been essentially confirmed by the appearance of the standalone 1390 LC8 engine in several KTM parts lists around the globe. Dealer websites, with parts sections that are probably automatically populated from a central list on official KTM servers, have revealed two distinct part numbers for the new 1390 engine and confirmed they're due to be used in the 1390 Super Duke 2024. The two engines appear to be identical, but one version is listed as engine 1390 Super Duke CN 2024 which suggests it's one that's manufactured in China, presumably at KTM's joint venture factory, established with CF Moto. CF Moto already makes the 790 and 890 parallel twin LC8C engines for use in both KTM and CF Moto machines, and its own 1,379 cubic centimeters version of the LC8 V twin that's used in the China only CF Moto 1250TR G Tourer. The new KTM face with the facelift, the 1390 Super Duke GT will soon shed its front beak, which was previously pulled forward in the form of the typical KTM split face. It seems that it will now have the same face as the 1390 Super Duke R, which consists of two LED projectors placed on top of each other in a plastic frame. Although the front mask on the test mules still looks like a preliminary rapid prototyping version, it is likely to remain the same. R1300R, R1300RS and R1300RT 2024 at the earliest. However, there is one catch, at BMW, they like to deal with the authorities. It doesn't matter if you're a traffic cop or a police officer, you'll find RT all over the world. To ensure a smooth transition at this point as well, it is highly likely that BMW will only present the newer 1300 RT, like the R1300 RS and R1300 R, in the course of 2024. It is still a matter of waiting. But that doesn't matter, because the data known so far for the new Boxer engine sounds more than promising. If the heart of the car is already strong, then the models with it as a solution for the car should be very good. And with the new aluminum chassis, every few kilograms lighter. 1250 is still good. It's about time for the new Boxer GS. At the end of September 2023, BMW will present the R1300 GS. Other R models will probably follow in the course of 2024, R1300R, R1300RS and R1300RT. All with the new 1300 Boxer and more than 145 horsepower. Motorrad and designer Carly are already showing what the R, RS and RT could look like in the future. BMW has reworked the Boxer with a half-shell performance. These include standard LED daytime running lights, LED indicators and new additions. As an alternative to high bars, BMW offers, for example, tubular handlebars for repositioning, and the two-person seat can also be converted to a solo rear. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The upcoming 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke R has made another appearance. It has been spotted testing closely in Europe and the new spy shots reveal many details of the upgraded Austrian Street Fighter. KTM will likely remove the vertically stacked LED slats and replace them with LED projector headlights flanked by boomerang-shaped DRLs. Even the fuel tank shape along with its extensions, the rear seat and the overall design seems much more aggressive than before. While the 1390 Duke is set to look just as sporty and youthful, the cuts increases seem to have increased evidently. 
It'll be powered by KTM's LC8V2 twin motor, but the output could possibly receive a small bump. In the current 1390 Duke, the engine makes about 180 brake horsepower and 140 newton meters. Even the engine tune could be slightly altered. This motor is linked to a six-speed gearbox and gets a bi-directional quickshifter. Other rider aids like traction control, ABS, ride modes, wheelie control and engine braking levels are also expected on the 2024 KTM 1390 Ducar. We also expect KTM to offer features like smartphone connectivity for navigation, call, music and SMS notifications. The test bike scene here is equipped with adjustable WP USD front forks and a monoshock. This is a statement to appreciate all that is vacant. It's just for the take in if you make up your mind to you the take it. I'm never complacent. The 2024 Honda NT1100 is the perfect bike for those looking for a bolder style. Despite not having significant changes compared to the previous model, the new version features two novelties. 102 horsepower. Torque of 2.6 kg FM. In this way, the driver can choose between driving urban and rain modes. That's because the Japanese automaker Honda invested in a new suspension, which has an inverted fork and a single arm rear. However, even having a more robust look, the Honda NT1100 is sophisticated and technological. In addition, it has a 100% digital panel that is touch-sensitive and a 5.0-inch screen. At first, the Japanese automaker will offer two versions of the Honda NT1100. Are they? Manual. DCT transmission. Consumption 2024 Honda NT1100. Currently, every driver, when changing vehicles, is concerned with fuel-related expenses. In this sense, it is interesting to talk about the average consumption of 2024 NT1100. At first, the NT1100 operates at 20 km per liter of fuel. However, it is important to note that this average may vary depending on how the rider drives the motorcycle. Standard Items and Equipment 2024 NT1100 Initially, standard items are responsible for strengthening the performance and safety of any vehicle. Speaking of the 2024 Honda NT1100, it puts on a show in this regard. Adjustable windshield. Side deflectors. Three variants of Versus 1000 will be available to European customers in 2024 with standard S and SE models on offer and two new color options available across what amounts to 12 model options. Offering an entry point into the exciting leader class Versus 1000 stable, the standard model of Versus shares many of the attributes of the other two machines in the range including assist and slipper clutch, electronic cruise control, three-mode Kawasaki traction control plus selectable power modes and integrated anti-lock braking. Additionally, like each machine in the range, the standard machine is also available in a number of addition model types from Kawasaki dealers covering Tourer, Tourer Plus, and Grand Tourer making the overall range option an impressive 12 models. A midpoint in the range, the Versus 1000S replaces the analog-style meter of the standard machine with a full-color TFT display that can also be paired via Bluetooth to the rider's smartphone relaying a vast array of information via the Kawasaki Radiology app. As part of an overall specification that includes an IMU enhanced electronics package, the S adopts a dual direction quick shifter plus LED cornering lights and rider selectable integrated riding modes. And from a practical perspective, a large height adjustable windscreen, handguards and grip heaters all feature in the specification. Topping out the three machine range, plus addition variants, is the Versus 1000 SE encompassing all of the advanced electronic, technical and engineering features of the S model adding an extra layer of rider convenience via the adoption of Showa electronically damped suspension.
The new 2024 Honda CB400 concept was digitally conceived to bring to life the imagination of what the highly anticipated Honda CB400 would look like in the 2024 model year. This creation represents a bold approach by Honda, which seeks to be at the forefront of innovation and revolutionary design. Innovative and Bold Design The design of the new 2024 Honda CB400 concept is a true example of aesthetic engineering, combining bold elements and futuristic lines. Every detail has been carefully thought out to offer a unique and attractive visual experience. The motorcycle's fluid, aggressive body shapes convey a sense of speed and dynamism, while the integrated LED headlamps provide a sharp, modern look. Advanced Technical Specifications The new 2024 Honda CB400 concept features advanced technical specifications that promise high performance and efficiency. Although the exact information about the engine is merely conceptual, the bike is expected to be equipped with a latest generation engine, capable of delivering exceptional power and torque. State-of-the-art technology employed in the fuel injection system and electronic management will provide an enhanced driving experience. High-Performance Wheels The new 2024 Honda CB400 concept wheels are designed to offer a perfect combination of stability and agility. Manufactured with light and durable materials, they contribute to reducing the total weight of the motorcycle, allowing for greater efficiency and maneuverability. The unique wheel design not only adds a sporty look, but also improves heat dissipation from the brakes, providing reliable performance in different riding conditions. The 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Gray in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface, the T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals, the 2024 Tenere 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter, the T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter, which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. The Quickshifter allows for smoother and quicker gear shifts without the need for clutch usage. Expanded ABS modes, Yamaha has improved the ABS mode offerings for the 2024 T7. Instead of only having on or off options, riders can now choose from three different modes, mode 1 for full ABS activation on both front and rear wheels, Suzuki previously announced its plans to withdraw completely from racing. This was almost always true, as the brand withdrew from the most prestigious two-wheel racing series, MotoGP. However, the Japanese manufacturer decided that it would continue its racing prowess in the EWC with the very successful Suzuki Endurance Racing Team, currently fourth in the 2023 standings. In the fall of 2022, Suzuki released a special edition Hayabusa, inspired by the iconic Bold Dior Endurance Race in France. This time, with summer in full swing, Suzuki has unveiled yet another limited edition sports machine. This time, the Japanese manufacturer has released a race edition of the popular naked bike, the GSX-S1000.
Here, we find a unique color inspired by the Suzuki Endurance Racing Team, as well as the addition of some upgrades to give the bike a sportier feel and better performance. With the Suzuki GSX-S1000 Race Edition, Suzuki has transformed the standard GSX-S1000 into a track-ready machine. For starters, it gets a new rear end to provide a sportier line, as well as a full set of engine and crankcase guards from GB Racing. Of course, nothing expresses track readiness more than a seat fairing, as well as red-painted Brembo calipers. To offer the bike a little more noise, the race edition also includes an Acropovic exhaust system. On top of all this, the limited edition Naked Sport Bike includes a numbered Surt FW plate and a welcome pack that includes a hat and a t-shirt. From a performance standpoint, nothing really changes, as the race edition is essentially a cosmetic upgrade kit, with the exception of the Acropovic system, which could add maybe 2 or 3 horsepower. Honda has decided to drop the veil on its latest CBF Concept motorcycle. The CBF Concept was supposed to make its debut at the Osaka Motorcycle Show and Tokyo Motor Show in this month, but due to COVID-19 outbreak, Honda has been forced to reveal the Concept motorcycle on an online platform. The CBF Concept is a throwback special that pays homage to the Honda CB900F naked motorcycle from the early 1980s. As a result, the design is retro, the bike features a classic round headlamp, a flattish fuel tank, and a simple tail section. The matte silver paint scheme with blue and gray stripes look rather cool. The megaphone designed exhaust is another retro touch. While the design of the bike is a few decades old, everything else is modern, the CBF concept features the same modern mechanicals as the company's leader-class Neo Sports Cafe bike, the CB1000R. The chassis looks similar and the concept features the same upside-down front forks and a single-sided swing arm along with a monoshock at the rear wheel. Powering the CBF concept is the same 998 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder engine as the CB1000R. In the CB1000R, the engine develops 143 brake horsepower and 104 newton meters of torque, and it's paired to a six-speed transmission. At the moment, Honda hasn't confirmed if they plan to put the CBF concept into production. However, we think it looks pretty cool, and putting the CBF into production won't really hurt a manufacturing giant like Honda, even if the bike makes little to no sense economically. The bodywork is said to be inspired by the Honda CB900F, from the late 1970s and early 1980s, and to our eyes, it is a pretty close approximation of the popular street bike's look. The 2024 BMW S1000RR will be launched in January 2024. A highly regarded sport motorcycle with cutting-edge technology and strong performance is the BMW S1000RR. The 2024 model provides a number of improvements to provide an enjoyable riding experience in an effort to build on the success of its predecessors. Design the 2024 BMW S1000RR has an aerodynamic design that is aggressive and streamlined for better performance. Sharp lines and the recognizable asymmetrical headlight design that make it stand out are still present. The motorcycle's chassis is small and nimble for improved handling, and it is constructed of lightweight materials. Technology and Electronics it is predicted that the S1000RR 2024 will include a full complement of electronics and rider aids. Traction control, cornering ABS, wheelie control, quickshifter, and several riding modes are a few of these. It is anticipated that a sophisticated instrument cluster with a high-resolution display will give passengers access to crucial data and adjustable settings. It's also possible to integrate connectivity capabilities like Bluetooth integration for smartphone connectivity and navigation. Ergonomics and Aerodynamics To maximize stability and lessen drag at high speeds, the 2024 S1000RR might include aerodynamic improvements, such as enhanced fairing design and components that have undergone wind tunnel testing. 
It is possible to improve ergonomics for a more comfortable riding position, resulting in improved control and less rider fatigue.